All right, AP Stat, here's your last stem plot example. You're welcome. So we're looking at example 10 in your notes, and notice this is a little bit different. We are looking at a comparative plot. So we are going to compare a back-to-back -back stem plot. This gets a little confusing, so we are going to look at it from the beginning in Staplet. So I want you to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm looking at shoe sizes, or pairs of shoe sizes. I'm looking at pairs of shoes for male and female. So that means I'm looking at the one quantitative variable multiple groups right here. So I am just going to call this pairs of shoes. All right, and I'll put the males right here and the females right here. Ah, oh, that fun little tapping noise, yay. Okay, so for the males, remember we're separating by, I'm using a space, you can use a um, comma if you want to. So I'm using the data that's in your example in your, it should be in your notes. The data should be in your notes. You can always separate out the data though in that Excel spreadsheet that I gave you for male and female. I just didn't take the time to do that. So I've got other fish to fry, so. Or too many other fish to fry, I should say. All right, so now I'm entering the female data here for pairs of shoes. All right. Okay, so once we do that, we're gonna begin the analysis and I'm gonna look at a stem plot. So if you'll notice, you get a stem plot now that's got stuff on both sides of it. So you, use, you need to use your snipping tool or write out by hand um, what you're going to write down for this. Now, I've already done this ahead of time so that I can have a nice little picture and you won't have to, you know, watch me struggle. So nobody wants to see that. Okay, so here we've got our... Um, our distribution. Now I want you to notice something. When we're comparing this, we're comparing the males to the females and females to the males, I want you to pay attention to your wording. While, the, the word while is not a comparison because a lot of kids like to compare these like this. The mean of the, the mean of the female is this, while the mean of the males is this. Well, you're just listing data or you're just listing information. You're not really actually actively comparing them. Now, something else I want you to know with the stem and leaf plot or the stem plot is that we've got zero, one, two, three, four here. Well, the female side looks, you know, really symmetric, perfectly symmetric actually. So, Notice though that the high numbers are on this end for the females, but on the males, it's kind of backwards. So you have to think of the males as uh, when you're describing the shape, you have to think of that backwards. All right, the best way to make comparisons is to look at your graphs and use practical everyday language. Now, I will tell you that when we, um, I've told you before on the histogram videos, and I stressed it on our WebExes, that you have to, when uh, when your data is symmetric, you have to report mean and standard deviation. I'm sorry I'm tripping over my words. I'm tired tonight. Anyway, and then when it's not symmetric, then you're going to report a center of median with your IQR. Well, here's a little tip. When you're comparing two distributions, pick one of those and compare it. All right, because comparison is a little bit different deal here. So I'm just going to talk about averages or I'm just gonna talk about medians. So I am going to indicate though that the female um, shoe distribution is 
is very symmetric. But the males, shoe distribution, seems to be somewhat right skewed. And I'm using the word somewhat because those wiggle words will save you so much heartache. Um, I And I want you to also stress when you're comparing something that you talk about it in general terms like, well, what's the data really telling you? In a practical way, what is happening? Well, practically speaking, um, on average, it appears, oops, can I spell females? We don't know. On average, it appears that females have more shoes. And this is just in general. This That's why I said on average. So on average, it appears that females have more shoes. With an average number of pairs at about 25 compared to the male average of about seven. So I'm, I'm calling out something that's obvious in the data and then I'm backing it up with the summary statistics that I have. Okay, so um, I'm just, I'm calling out something obvious here. I'm saying on average, it seems that the, um, the females have more shoes on average or overall, there's lots of different ways you can say that. And to support that claim, I'm going to say, well, the average female has 24.8 or about, about 25 pairs, whereas the males just have about seven. So I'm making a statement that's obvious in the graph and in the summary statistics, but then I'm backing it up. I'm backing it up with my math. So, and you can go on to say something like, um, let's see. Oh yeah, we need to talk about unusual features. I don't really think there's really unusual features here. There don't seem to be, I hope y'all can read my handwriting okay. There don't seem to be any unusual features and the standard deviations for women I don't like how that's worded. There doesn't seem to be any unusual there there don't seem to be any unusual features in the standard deviations. Um, I'm going to use more practical language there. I'm sorry. I don't like that. And the variability. There we go. That's better. And the, 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 the dadgummit. And the variability for women is greater than that of the males with a standard deviation of 10.7 compared to 6.0. 
or just six. All right, so let's go back over this. The female shoes just the female shoes distribution is very symmetric, but the male shoe distribution seems to be somewhat right skewed. On average, it appears that females have more shoes with an average number of pairs at about 25 compared to the male average of about seven. There don't seem to be any unusual features and the variability for women is greater than that of the males with a standard deviation of 10.7 compared to six. Uh, it's divine. It's beautiful. I mean, you know, we had a few hiccups along the way, but that is essentially how you compare two distributions. I don't want you just making a list of the female mean is this, the male mean is this, the female standard deviation is this. That is not comparison. Your English teacher would be so ashamed. Are you with me? So that's what a comparison would look like. That's an example of it. So I'm sorry that I ran so long and I'm sorry that I'm tired and I, you know, can't quit babbling. Be good.